What up, what up, everybody? It's your boy CG. I'm back with you guys again with another daily cryptocurrency news video. This is actually the third time I'm doing this video now because I just had two mishaps and it's blowing minds. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it's like they don't, it's like something doesn't want me to do this video, but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get it finished, man. It's crazy. But yeah, um, Bitcoin's down today back in the 6700s. It was topping off around 7,070 yesterday, 7,080. I knew it was going to come back down because the coronavirus is still out here. It's still a big issue, a lot of, with the social distancing and the people having to stay home, slowing down the economy. So people are still having to pull from their assets, whatever it may be, whether it's crypto, um, gold, whatever they, they have savings in. A lot of people, like I said the other day, were affected by this. So retirement portfolios cut in half people having to go and dip into emergency savings whatever it may be people losing their jobs so expect there to be a lot of pain in every market across the board not just in the uh, traditional financial market because you know people need money to survive they need cash even though that actually, st that actually stems into what I my first article so union bank head foresees the end of physical cash so Edwin Batista, president and chief executive of the Union Bank of the Philippines, has forecast that the coronavirus outbreak will drive banks to shift towards digital currencies, leaving physical cash behind. So, yeah, essentially, guys, I don't know if you've ever played the game The Division. The Division actually has um, their currency in the game is actually digital. And inside of the game, I don't know if you guys know the premise or the story or the setting, but essentially there was a virus that was being transmitted through, through fiat, through cash, and it spread around the world, so kind of like corona, and it was infecting everybody, so they had to destroy all the cash and move to more digital options. But amid them making this transition, there was a lot of chaos, like it was a lot of anarchy, like economies came to a halting, to a screeching stop. It was it's, It was crazy. And their digital currency, the logo that in the division that they used, it, it was funny. This is why I think maybe the people at Ubisoft are Bitcoin heads or somebody in there is into Bitcoin. Because the logo for their currency is the Bitcoin logo, but instead of a B, it's a D. Like like dog, it's a D. So yeah, go check that out. It's, pretty, it's a pretty interesting um thing. So you know, sometimes fiction is realer than, um. well sometimes you know, fiction reflects truth. Just in a more... um prescient way um it's foreshadows truth i guess but yeah so as euro money reported on april 3rd batista noted the pandemic provoked a heightened demand in online banking services pushing banks to revise their digi their digitization strategy going further the exec projected the beginning of the end of hard cash especially if central banks failed to deliver notes and coins to banks and atms one key realization here is that the longer the disruption, the more tenuous the traditional cash supply chain becomes. Thus, I expect that banks will be more open to testing, developing, and deploying digital cash and currencies, QR codes, and maybe even cryptocurrencies and digital tokens. So, yeah, it's actually really interesting because they're saying that this is crash is going to fast track um, the shift towards digital. And I was talking about BAB, the... Um, blockchain based um application that i was talking now i mentioned the other day their goal is to unbank is to bank the unbanked using blockchain applications is basically be your own bank blockchain based um i forgot what the, what, what the acronym stands for but that that's their goal and there's another one i was you i was um following called amon i don't know if they're the exact same goal but they're very similar projects to a certain degree and i'm monitoring both of them really closely because i would like to see you know some of these crypto companies become the next big unicorn companies in the face of this financial crisis so union bank experiments with blockchain they've made their own stable coin called phx it's a it functions as a stable store of value It's good programmable and it's a self-executing token as well they've actually tested remittance pay payments from the philippines to singapore and they aim to uh, to bank millions of unbanked filipinos and tie them to the tradition to the country's main financial network meanwhile other world banks continue to advance the development of their own digital currency France officially launched an experimental program to test the introduction inter, integration of a central bank 
digital currency for interbank settlements, while the Bahamas announced plans to do the same. So, yeah. It's really interesting times that we're living in. Stay home. <laughs> Shapeshift enables U.S.-based customers to buy crypto with debit cards. So, basically, Shapeshift is enabling people to buy crypto with their debit cards. A lot of companies are going this route. Uh, I don't know. I think it was not that they couldn't before. I just think it was harder for them to get the um the licensing or get the support to accept these to accept debit card payments. I'm not too sure what the case was with it. I'm not, you know, I'm not in that industry on that in that le in that way. So I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what was the holdup with them. But yeah, Shapeshift is making moves as far as giving people more entryways into the cryptocurrency industry. Binance as well is entering the debit card sector and they're trying to issue their own visa. The card is initially only available in Southeast Asia, though the company states that other regions will be unlocked soon. Earlier this year, Coinbase became a principal member of Visa, which allows it to issue debit cards without relying on third parties. So I know as of last year, Coinbase had because if you guys follow, if you guys were around for a while, you would know that Coinbase used to initiate their own shift debit cards, but the shift cards got canceled, and then for, there was it was dead for a little bit. Then they came out and issued a new debit card, but it was only available in Europe. So I don't know if this means that now they have their debit cards available in the U.S. I'm not too sure. You guys, let me know in the comment section if you know about this. But that's as far as my knowledge extends. I kind of lost interest in Coinbase's card after that. Germany still shows a keen interest in crypto assets, so yeah. Following recent market turmoil, interest in BTC has seemingly dropped off significantly all over the world, but in Germany, the situation isn't nearly as bleak. Boris Stuttgart is nothing is noting strong growth as far as its Bison application is concerned. Though Bison users can buy and sell all the major cryptocurrencies, so far the app has been used by 100,000 people, a number that is expected to rise in the near future. So you see what I mean? A lot of people, regardless of what may be being said or projected on the charts, you got to go to the fundamentals. People are going to look for alternatives. People are going to look at this as an opportunity. Whether it's stocks, gold, silver, people are all, people who understood that these types of market shifts or trends occur were prepared for these types of things or even if they had some extra money and they see it as a time that hey i can win i this is cheaper than it used to be i can get it and potentially profit from this so a lot of people are taking advantage of this downturn it's not all doom and gloom for everybody so yeah germany this company in germany is still moving moving forward so you see this is what i mean by it's companies like these that really stick out during these um these times of hardship. They're they're the ones that grow up to, to be these mega corporations because they had a need and they prov they had a there was a need for them and they provided a solution. So look out for a lot of these these crypto companies that were created in crypto to um start taking off in the future. The venture in Germany, launched by a commerce bank, isn't suffering from the coronavirus by any means. Its diversified portfolio of different technology investments has been a saving grace. For all companies in Germany, as well as the rest of the world, the goal is to keep pushing forward. B BTC and alts were once widely considered to be a safe haven asset during times of financial crisis. As the coronavirus has shown, it cannot live up to that level by any means. So, yeah, very true. That's why people are buying them. <laughs> so, yeah. Last article, blockchain project wants to make coronavirus test kits more accessible. So essentially, I'm going to do the long story short for this one. Telos and Genos Bank, if anybody is following the Telos project, they're partnering up to um, let make a new application for coronavirus testing. The application was going to be known as Agarona. It's going to give users the access to low-cost testing for the COVID. All data is recorded on the Tellus blockchain, but in an anonymous manner. As such, users can share the results with the healthcare provider if they think it is necessary. If everything goes through according to plan, the new application will be ready for use later this month. And through Ag Agarona, users can use can also locate testing kits to purchase. Creating such a one-stop solution for the virus is very ambitious, ambitious, but also necessary. There has been a growing demand for accessible coronavirus testing. That being said, it remains to be seen how viable it is to source test kits and let the masses try to get their hands on them.
So yeah, this is just another way that blockchain is being used. A lot of people are seeing the benefit in switching to this um, model and seeing how efficient it can be, how whether it's being cost efficient, time saving, whatever you want to call it, you know, people see the potential in this and there's if if it can be converted to that without with it making sense because you know a lot of things you don't really need blockchain for but there are a lot of things as well that you do need it for so you know it's just it's just all based on perception and looking forward to seeing how um the the industry evolves after like well during and after to be honest with you because it's going to still evolve during because we're actually seeing it i we just read a couple articles that stated that but all right guys this is your boy cg I, i'll come on i think i'm gonna come on tomorrow i'm not too sure um it's my sister's birthday my sister that passed so it's gonna it's one of those days and it just depending on how i'm feeling tomorrow but I, I may come on tomorrow even though i said i wouldn't do weekends just because you know i did just reignite everything so you know i kind of want to put some steam in the engine so yeah all right everybody peace